Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to access and export all the metadata in Final Cut Pro. The first thing you want to do is select a clip for which you want to access the metadata. You can access it either in the timeline or select it in the browser. It doesn't matter. So here I'm going to select this clip that I have in my timeline and then I'm going to go up to the inspector. And in Final Cut Pro, you have four different types of inspector. You have the video inspector, you have the color inspector, you have the audio inspector, and you have the info inspector. That's a little circle with an eye in the middle. Select the info inspector. That is your metadata. And you see that when you select the uh, info inspector, you don't actually have that many metadata. The list is rather short. Now you have access to a lot more metadata than this. To do this, you're going to go to the bottom of the info inspector window and you will see a little gray rectangle and in it will be written basic with an inverted arrow next to it. If you click on the inverted arrow, you will see a menu that opens and in this menu, you have several possibility for additional metadata views. Now, the one with the most view is the most metadata is the one entitled extended. If I click on extended, now you will see that the list of metadata shown in the info inspector is a lot longer. But that still is only a fraction of the metadata that you can access in Final Cut Pro. To access all of the uh, metadata, go back to the selection window, click on the inverted arrow, and go all the way to the bottom of the metadata view window. And it will say edit metadata view. If you click on edit metadata view, a new window is going to appear in the middle of your screen called metadata views. And you will see a very long list if you scroll all the way down of various metadatas that you can access. Next to some of those metadatas, you will see a check mark. And of course, that represent the metadatas that have been selected to appear in the view that we selected in the extended view in this case, and which appear in my info inspector viewer. So here you can go and select which metadata you want to have access and just check on it. And now they will be selected. But a better way to do this is to create your own metadata view. So to create a customer's customized metadata view, go down to the bottom left corner of the metadata view window that we just opened and you will see a little cogwheel with an inverted arrow. If you click on the inverted arrow, it will give me a selection menu and the second one from the top entitled new metadata view. If you select it, then it will automatically create a new metadata view, which you can name whichever what, one you want. So let's say I'm going to call it my data metadata view. Let's do this correctly. Metadata, my metadata. Then you would select which metadata you want to appear in that new view. You can select all of them if that's what you wanted. And then if you click OK, that new view, metadata view, would be saved and uh, you would be able to select it in the same manner that we selected the extended view and then all the selection that you've made would appear in your info inspector window. Now there is one more thing you can do with your metadata in Final Cut Pro. You can export your metadata. Let's say that uh, you would like to have access to your metadata with another software so you can manipulate them. Well, you can do that. So make sure that you have the clip for which metadata you want selected. Go to File and in File go down to Export XML. And if I click on Export XML, I, I will see another window that appears. And in that window, it will ask me how I want to name that file. So let's say metadata project file. It's the name that I want to give it. 
let's say I want to save it in downloads and not in my external drive, I would select download. And then the last thing you would have to do is select which metadata view you want to download. You can choose basic or extended, or if we had, if I had saved, which I didn't do, if I'd created a custom metadata view, it would appear here. I would be able to select it and to download it. So that's how you access and uh, download your metadata in Final Cut Pro. Bye everyone.